All right, this review is on the Quiet Power 1800 DC to AC inverter system. These are uh, made by Iris Technology. I think they're out of Canada. Anyway, the Marine Corps, United States Marine Corps, bought a ton of these to equip their Humvees and other military vehicles. It's a 24 volt inverter. And they're getting surplused. Now, Xantrex made a version of this. They might have either bought the patents or bought the company or something. Uh, so you'll see it and it'll look familiar if you know about those. So, anyway, it comes in a Pelican case. Pelican refers to. Um, brand name a case and that's their that's their tag there and I think this is a pressure relief valve for air transit anyway um, if you know about pelican cases and I'm wearing my camo pajamas. I, that's where that sleeves from. Uh, Woodland camo pajamas. Anyway, if you know about Pelican cases, they got a really good reputation of being really tough. Uh, they got nice rounded edges and rounded edges. That's a rounded corners. <laughs> um, this particular one has wheels. Over here, it means to to tote it around like like it's a piece of airport luggage. So anyway, I haven't opened this yet. We're gonna open it and see what's inside. I know about these inverters. I already use one. This one was supposed to be a full set. I got it for a pretty good. Ooh, that's a cool latch. Uh, just a side note: uh, there's a lot of Chinese clones, Chinese-made clones of. Uh, these cases that's probably why they put that that tag on there but who knows I could probably get that tag clone too Ugh. it doesn't want to open it's stopping it well it's been gonked up pretty good maybe the hinges Whacked. Well, there's a reason it got surplus. That might have been it. Or it doesn't open all the way. <laughs> I don't want to force it. Oh, it's just stuck. Okay. Well, cool. You can see the gasket. The rubber gasket. Um, may or may not be able to see that foam. They, uh... In a lot of cases, they'll have a foam that's been cut with water, uh, or I think they call it a water laser or something like that. Um, and they can, like, see that that cut. They can custom cut things and make them fit just right. So anyway, looks like it comes with some battery cables, heavy duty ones, which is great. Um, so this, no telling how much use it got or, oh sorry, excuse me, this is a, what's known in the military as a, as a SLAVE cable. Uh, there's a master cable and then there's one of these cables. So what what's going on here is this will hook up to your your military 28 volt 24 28 volt you know around that range uh, outlet and uh, see oh here we go 24 volts DC 500 amps um, 
this will go from your 24 volt uh, and then on this end that will go under negative your negative which is black and your red pot is red is positive uh, contact points on the inverter so um, it's made for a military vehicle what they use these these uh, SL AVE cables for is to jump start other military vehicles a lot of times uh, except you'd have one of these fittings on each end that way you could daisy chain the vehicles together but in this case it's going to use that function to run an inverter that's why it's looking like that so now I get to finally see some documentation I've been missed out on um, there you go you can you can even tell it's a marine by the uh, Marpat camo right there but uh that's the inverter and we just went over that and he's able to use his laptop in what looks like a military vehicle probably a Humvee because he's running it off from the inverter it's running off the, the, the power so anything government expeditionary power systems anything government uh, publishes public domain so take a look real quick now oh, it got wet oh no sticking together that's not good or if it had that's the reason it got the surplus well anyway got some mold going on there's a table of contents you can probably find this online um, 2008 it's almost been glued in there give me a sec see if I can loose this up look obliterating it So basically they want your engine to be running while you're using this so you have the uh, alternator making power because otherwise it'll it'll suck your batteries dry these are some of the, the battery brands and types well that is Frustrating to have a, a what? It's good to have a manual. It's bad to have a manual with issues. That's why we're making it a digital hard copy, right? Just so that you know what's going on. Just imagine you got one of these in your inventory and you're like, what is this? What does it do? Well, this manual is supposed to break it down real easy. I think they're talking about vibration isolators. That must be what this is. Kind of a rubber, rubber buggy baby bumper type device. Damn it, darn it. It's mucking up the uh the corner, so at least at least it's eligible. Or le legible. We 
yeah, you're getting some inverter training straight from the from Uncle Sam. So yeah. Open this. I'm glad I opened that case that that uh I, I when i got it i didn't open it right away didn't have time obviously it's my first video in like a month on youtube um gotta open it finally because probably would have rotted away you ever see some of the rot going on the mold So what happened is the the, uh, the government uh, regularly surpluses things to justify having the need to buy more, and so sometimes what they get rid of is in good shape. Sometimes it's not. Uh, so, but anyway, you usually get a pretty good price for it. And some buyer bought this and then resold it on eBay, and, and I bought it. So it was tested and stuff. I'm not going to do the testing right now, but it's more like for another system I'm working on. A solar system, 20, 24 volt solar system. And why do I do 24 volt? Because I can get lots of surplus, military surplus, uh, 24 volt equipment very inexpensively. You're talking like generators and things like that like this I didn't pay very much for this at all for what for what it's worth yeah, it's still damp darn it I should open this a long time ago well, I got it like two weeks ago so yeah Getting down to the end here. <clears throat> Hope it's not that 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 mold that kill you. <laughs> See so, ya. Yeah, um, Look at that. I'm going to put that out in the sun for a while. <laughs> what a little sun we have in October. Great. So here's a uh, operation manual, and it's just as it's li it's literally froze together. Darn it. That's what I wanted to do is, is view this thing. Well, at least you get to see the U.S. flag. Yeah, it's like, it's frozen together. The crap. Anyway, maybe you can get a hold of this on the, on the internet. There's your technical manual number. That sucks. It's got that mold. I'm going to put this outside.
So anyway, put that aside. Here's the uh, isolators. And they probably just screw in um, like so. One of these. So right now it's upside down. That's your grounding lug. It's the remnants of a something. There you go. That's the face. These are really nice because they let you know how much energy you're using and how much you got left. Um, I actually run a couple of these already. One made by Iris, another one made by Xantrex. Uh, the thing that, to note, the Zatrix ones say explicitly they're made in China. The Iris ones, I think because of some law, um, the, the United States tries to buy most of their equipment from either... Um, either from uh, US manufacturers or or NATO manufacturers but still it may have been assembled in Canada but it's probably made out of Chinese parts and such uh, when you're looking at uh, uh, used inverters look, always look at the connectors, connectors for corrosion that'll tell you more than anything whether it was exposed to ocean air from corrosion or some other deal but um I can look all the way through there oh so anyway there's some warnings well they didn't they didn't think the manual would be sealed up did they so so anyway I got it for a pretty good price because it has a lot of uh, damage, cosmetic damage, but it's supposed to work good. And other than the manual being all wrecked, I think it got got away pretty well. But occasionally you can find these. Um, but uh, this design, I've seen it from at least four different companies. Pretty much uh, a yellow gray, and then a, a black background, and then whatever the company. So, anyway, there you go. It's a uh, United States Marine Corps Humvee and probably other vehicle, 24 volt, 1800 watt, pure sine wave. Inverter. Maybe that's a ground. That is a ground. I think that, well, maybe we saw it, maybe we didn't. Yeah, probably on, on the other side, or down there. Anyway, there you go, and there's nothing more to read or see or anything, so we're going to end this video. All right, this is Military Industrial Museum, where we explore military concepts and things like that, and see what we can do to repurpose ourselves <laughs> if we're surplus or repurpose surplus equipment to make things better. All right.